work at the Department of Forest and Wood Science as a material scientist and we look at material characteristics. Um, and that is now where the violin comes in because for musical instruments the physical properties of wood are very, very important. Um, my daughter plays violin and she has just started two years ago so she has a fairly cheap factory violin where the moment it gets warm the pegs pop out and the tune doesn't hold. So I started looking at which wood species would possibly be feasible to do that. All our indigenous wood species are protected. Um, so you get a few trees per year that are used for cabinet makers or, or for a few people. Um, so it was quite difficult to get the wood in the first place. Um, you don't want pronounced differences in the wood. You don't want um, a very dark inner part, for example, that then turns into a light outer part because those color differences um, equate to density differences. And that is, is not what you want in a violin. Um, they looked at all the physical properties, density, the elastic modulus, which basically tells you how strong the wood is um, to withstand the, the pull of the strings. Um, and then, of course, most importantly, the speed of sound along the grain and across the grain, how it radiates sound. Well, first impressions, the look and feel of it is absolutely beautiful. Um, it is this beautiful light yellow wood finish uh, and the, just the weight of it, everything is comfortable, it, it's, it's an absolutely stunning violin. Um, and then when it comes to the sound, uh, the highlight of it for me is the, the low notes. It's a very full bodied, uh, beautiful sound that's vibrant. I really connect with it a lot because I enjoy low tones in the violin. It, it has a more of a viola sound, but with the range of a violin, which is um, unheard of. So it's, it's a really spectacular violin. It's beautiful to play on, and yeah, I was very, very impressed. I contacted several luthiers in and around Cape Town first. Um, they were not really thrilled by the idea. They didn't think it would work. It would be worth their time. It's a very long process. I spent quite a few years in Italy learning the art of instrument making. I went to school. There's an Italian violin making school in a city called Cremona. And returned to South Africa in 1991 where I set up my studio. If you're going to make a living out of being a luthier, that's not easy because there are really many, many, many. The competition is fierce. All my wood that I'm using is about 30 or 40 years old that I bought in, it, in Cremona at the time when I started out. Your wood is exceptionally important. I was quite surprised because the yellow wood is hard, um, whereas the the spruce, what, what, I would, what I would use for the top, is a very, is, it's like pine, it's, it's very, very soft. When the professor phoned me and said, um, asked me if I would make an instrument out of yellow wood, I, I thought the yellow would go for the ribs inside, so, yeah, I'm very pleasantly surprised at it, yeah. So it's a very good experiment. Yeah. I think the value is really in the novelty, in, in having something different. So one person already ordered uh, a second African violin to be made. So I think um, people that play professionally and that have more than one instrument might be interested in having a slightly different instrument. Mm -hmm.